Hello friends, recently in my play console inbox, I have received a notification stating you must complete the advertising ID declaration before releasing an app that targets Android 13. So let us see what are all the necessary tasks that we must do immediately to avoid any hindrance that affect your app releases in play store. So we can divide this notification into two tasks. The one is completing the advertising ID declaration form and the second one is declaring the permission for add ID in apps Android manifest file. So let's take the first task that is advertising ID declaration in play console. For that log into your Google play console, select your play store app, go to policy section and select app content. Here there is a to do task for advertising ID, click on start. This is the form that you need to submit. Here the question is, does your app use advertising ID? To put it in a simple way, is your app contains ads? If your app contains ads or if your app using any third party SDK which uses ads API, you have to say yes, otherwise no. My kids ABC master app does not contain ads. So here I am selecting no and saving the form. So the declaration has been submitted and sent for review. Here I am selecting another app which contains ads. Going to app content page, starting the advertising ID form. Here I am selecting yes for this question because my app uses Google Mobile's ads SDK to support the ads. Or if your app is using any third party ads SDK like Firebase or IMA or Facebook SDK for ads, and it is targeting SDK version 33 that is Android 13, you have to select yes here. On selection of yes, it gives some list of purposes why you are using advertising ID. In my app, I am just using it to display advertisements. So I am selecting advertising or marketing option. If your app is using it for different purpose other than advertising, check that and select based on your app usage and say save. So this way you have to complete the form and submit for all your play console apps. Otherwise you cannot roll out your app releases targeting Android 13 until you complete this form. Now let's go to second task that is declaring the permission for add ID in manifest file. To make it simple I have divided this task into three scenarios. The first scenario is app that do not contain ads means if your app does not integrated with any ads SDK to show ads then you don't need to add the permission in manifest you can simply avoid the second scenario is app contains ads but target SDK version is 32 or lower means you are targeting till Android 12 in this case also you don't need to add the permission immediately but you need to be careful on your future releases with the increased target SDK version. Third scenario is app contains ads and target SDK version is 33 or higher. That means you are targeting Android version 13. At this time you must add the permission for add ID in your apps Android manifest file before rollout the release in play console. So open manifest file and add uses permission tag with the permission for add ID only when the target SDK version is 33. However, if you are using latest IMA SDK version that is 3.25.1 or higher and the latest Google mobile ads SDK or Firebase SDK that is 20.4.0 or higher, you can skip this step that is adding uh, add ID permission in Android manifest. Since those SDKs automatically declare that permission for add ID in their manifest, when you make the debug or release build, it gets added to your main merged manifest file automatically. So let's see that here I am removing this permission and my GMS ads SDK is the latest one that means higher than 20.4.0. Now make the build. To open merge and manifest file select project view go to the app build intermediates merged underscore manifest and select android manifest.xml file. So these are the permissions added by our app manifest file. But here add ID permission was added automatically even though I didn't mention in my manifest. This was done by the latest Google Play services ads light library. 
So if your app is targeting SDK version 33 and your ads library is not updated to the latest version, then only you must add advertising ID permission tag in your Android manifest.xml file. If you try to roll out new releases without this permission, Google Play Console will block your releases. So be careful on updating the apps which target Android SDK version 33 or higher. Hope this video was helpful for you to understand about advertising ID declaration both in Play Console and in Android manifest file. Please let me know your comments on this and subscribe to my IRECA Tech Solutions for more videos like this. Thank you.